Picture if you could activate your body's deepest cellular cleanup system, the same one that battles aging, insulin resistance, and swelling without starving for tres days or drinking salt water. What if the key wasn't in a lab, but in your cupboard, a spoonful of olive oil? It sounds impossible, right? Because olive oil has calories. It shouldn't count as fasting. But what if certain molecules inside it could fool your body into thinking it's fasting, switching on the very genes that water fasting does? Today, we'll explore how a small change, one tablespoon once a day, can double autophagy, sharpen energy, and reset insulin sensitivity, all through science, not hype. You know, when most folks think about fasting, they picture hunger pangs, dizzy spells, and willpower battles that last for days. And honestly, that's often exactly what happens. Traditional water fasts can be brutal. Your body fights you every step of the way because it genuinely believes you're starving. But here's the fascinating thing. Your body doesn't actually care whether you're eating or not eating. What it cares about are the signals, the molecular messages that tell it whether to grow and store or repair and clean. And that's where olive oil comes into the picture because it sends a very specific signal that changes everything. Let me take you inside your cells for a moment because understanding this will change how you think about food forever. Inside every single cell in your body, there are two systems constantly competing for control. Think of them like two managers in the same office, each with completely different priorities. The first manager is called mTOR, short for mechanistic target of rapamycin, but you don't need to remember that. Just think of mTOR as the growth manager. When you eat a meal, especially one with carbs and protein, your blood sugar rises, insulin gets released, and mTOR gets activated. Its job, build, grow, store energy. It's the abundance signal. And when mTOR is in charge, it puts the brakes on everything related to repair and cleanup. Why would your body clean house when there's plenty of resources coming in? But then there's the second manager, AMPK. This one turns on when fuel is low, when you haven't eaten for a while, when you're exercising hard, or when energy stores are running thin. AMPK steps in and says, okay, we need to be efficient now. Let's clean up the junk, recycle what we can, and make sure everything is running smoothly. It's the survival manager. And here's the key. These two managers don't work at the same time. When one is on, the other is off. mTOR and AMPK are like a seesaw. Push one side down, the other goes up. Now, traditional fasting works because when you stop eating, mTOR naturally goes quiet. There's no insulin spike, no abundance signal. So AMPK gets its turn to run the show and it immediately starts the cleanup process we call autophagy. That's why fasting has become so popular for longevity and metabolic health. It's one of the most reliable ways to flip that switch. But fasting for days on end isn't easy. It's uncomfortable. It can mess with your social life, your energy levels, and frankly, your patience. So what if there was another way to flip that switch? What if you could send the AMPK signal without actually going hungry? That's where olive oil, specifically a very special compound inside high quality olive oil, becomes almost like a biological master key. The compound is called oliropane. You might have also heard of oleocanthal, which is closely related. Both are found in abundance in early harvest, extra virgin olive oil. And um, here's how, you know, if your olive oil has enough of it, the taste. If your olive oil is smooth, buttery, mild, the kind you could drink without flinching, it's probably been processed too much or harvested too late. The compound oleropine gives olive oil that sharp peppery kick, that little burn at the back of your throat. That's the signal you want. That throat tickle isn't just flavor, it's the active ingredient. Studies have shown that um, uropine can directly activate AMPK even when you're not in a calorie deficit. At the same time, it suppresses mTOR. In other words, this molecule hijacks your metabolic seesaw and forces it into the repair position. Your body gets the low fuel signal even though you just swallowed a teaspoon of fat. It's a biohack in the truest sense. You're manually flipping the master switch without waiting for the hunger, the fatigue, or the tres day countdown. And once that switch flips, your body begins one of the most powerful processes for health and longevity that we know of, autophagy. Let me tell you what autophagy actually does, because this is where things get exciting. The word autophagy literally means self-eating. 
which sounds a bit grim until you realize it's one of the smartest things your body can do. Think of it as your internal recycling and waste management system. Over time, your cells pile up damage. Proteins get misfolded and clumped together. Mitochondria, the little power plants that produce your energy, start to break down and leak harmful byproducts. Cells that should have retired keep hanging around, spewing out inflammatory signals like grumpy retirees who refuse to leave the office. All of this junk builds up and it's at the root of so many age-related problems, fatigue, brain fog, chronic swelling, insulin resistance, weakened immunity. Autophagy is the cleanup crew. When AMPK is activated, it gives the green light for your cells to start identifying and dismantling all that internal junk. First, it goes after those misfolded proteins. These protein clumps are associated with neurodegenerative diseases and metabolic dysfunction. They literally jam up your cellular machinery. Autophagy wraps them up, breaks them down, and recycles the parts for new proteins. Then it moves on to damage mitochondria when mitochondria malfunction. They don't just stop making energy, they actively spew out free radicals, causing oxidative stress that damages your DNA and your cell membranes. There's a specialized form of autophagy called mitophagy that specifically targets these broken power plants and clears them out, making room for fresh, efficient ones. And then there are the zombie cells. Officially, they're called senescent cells, but zombie is a perfect description. These are cells that have been damaged by stress, toxins, or just age. But instead of dying gracefully, they refuse to go. And worse, they secrete inflammatory chemicals that damage the cells around them. This creates a vicious cycle scientists call inflammaging, a chronic low-grade inflammation that's a major driver of heart disease, diabetes, arthritis, and cognitive decline. Autophagy is one of the only ways your body can eliminate these zombies and break that inflammatory cycle. Your immune system also relies heavily on autophagy. Immune cells use it to digest pathogens they've captured and to regulate their own inflammatory responses. Without enough autophagy, your immune system becomes sluggish, confused, and prone to overreacting. It's like an army that's forgotten how to tell friend from foe. Autophagy retrains it, making your defenses sharper and more precise. Now, here's what makes olive oil fasting so elegant. You're not starving yourself to get these benefits. You're using a molecular signal a tiny amount of a naturally occurring compound to convince your body that it's time to clean house. And because you're still taking in some calories in the form of healthy fats, you maintain energy. You don't get that shaky, irritable feeling that comes with deep fasting. You're working smarter, not harder. But olive oil isn't working alone. We can amplify these effects even further by pairing it with the right kind of fats that create an even deeper fasting signal. This is where things get really interesting. When you add a small amount of a specific type of oil, MCT oil, particularly one called Cocho, your liver rapidly converts it into something called ketones. And ketones aren't just fuel. They're signaling molecules with profound uh, effects on your genes, your inflammation levels, and your brain. Think of ketones as molecular messengers that tell your body, we're in survival mode, time to activate all the longevity programs. One of the most powerful ketones, beta-hydroxybutyrate or BHB, acts like a key that unlocks parts of your DNA that are normally kept locked away. Scientists call this an epigenetic modulator, but let me make it simple. Your DNA is like an enormous library. Most of the books, your genes, are kept on locked shelves. The genes that handle day-to-day -day operations are always accessible. But the powerful ones, the ones that help you survive stress, repair DNA damage, and resist disease, those are locked up until your body gets a very specific signal that says, we need the survival manual now. BHB acts like that key. It inhibits something called HDAC proteins that keep those survival genes locked. When ketones are present, those locks come off, and suddenly your cells have access to genetic programs they haven't used in years. Genes like Foxotras, which is directly linked to longevity and stress resistance, get turned on. Your cells literally upgrade their software. And here's the beautiful part. You don't have to be in full-blown ketosis for weeks to get this benefit. 
even a modest temporary rise in ketones triggered by a teaspoon of MCT oil during your olive oil fast can start unlocking these genetic pathways. Ketones also send a powerful anti-inflammatory signal throughout your entire body. They bind to a specific receptor on your fat cells called GPR, Uno Cero Nueve. When this receptor gets activated, it tells your fat tissue to stop releasing inflammatory free fatty acids into your bloodstream. This creates a systemic calming effect. Your whole body cools down inflammation-wise. And inflammation, as you probably know by now, is at the root of almost everything that goes wrong as we age, heart disease, dementia, diabetes, joint pain, you name it. There's one more thing ketones though that's absolutely fascinating. They make your mitochondria more efficient. Ketones influence something called the hyphenal pathway, which is your body's master regulator for how cells respond to low oxygen conditions, like when you're exercising hard or in a sauna or at high altitude. This pathway teaches your mitochondria to produce more energy with less oxygen and less waste. It's like upgrading from an old gas guzzler to a hybrid engine. Over time, this makes you more resilient, more energetic, and better able to handle physical and mental stress. So now imagine combining these two forces, olive oil, which flips the AMPK switch and starts autophagy, and MCT oil or exogenous ketones, which amplify the cleanup signal and unlock your longevity genes. You're not just mimicking a fast, you're orchestrating a full cellular reset. And the best part, it's simple. You don't need a lab or a prescription. You need a bottle of good olive oil, maybe some MCT oil, and a plan. Let me walk you through exactly how to do this. The protocol is designed for one day, though you could extend it to two if you want a deeper reset. The night before, eat a normal dinner, nothing special. Just finish eating by siet or ocho pulgada the evening. Then the next morning, instead of breakfast, you're gonna have your first dose of olive oil. Pour uno to those tablespoons of high quality, peppery extra virgin olive oil into a small glass. If you wanna amplify the effect, add uno teaspoon of cocho MCT oil. You could also add a small scoop of exogenous ketone salts if you have them, though that's optional. Drink it straight or mix it into some warm herbal tea or black coffee if that's easier. The key is to keep insulin low. So no sugar, no milk, no carbs. That sharp peppery sensation you feel in your throat, that's olerapine going to work. That's the signal. Your body is now receiving the message, time to activate, time to start cleaning. Over the next dose to trace hours, autophagy will be ramping up inside your cells. But here's the thing, the effect doesn't last all day from one dose. Research suggests the autophagy signal from all European peaks and then fades over a few hours. So to keep the cleanup going, you'll wanna repeat this every dose to trez hours throughout the day, mid-morning, early afternoon, maybe once more in the late afternoon. Each time, just one or two tablespoons of olive oil. You can add the MCT oil to one or two of those doses if you want the extra ketone boost, but you don't need to overdo it. By the end of the day, you'll have consumed somewhere between quinientas and setacientas and quinta calories, almost all from fat. That's enough to keep your energy stable and your brain sharp, but not enough to spike insulin or shut down AMPK. You're in this beautiful metabolic middle ground where your body thinks it's fasting, but you're not suffering through hunger pangs or energy crashes. You can go about your day reading, walking, working on hobbies without feeling deprived. Some people even report feeling more focused and clear-headed during an olive oil fast than they do on a normal eating day, probably because their brain is running on ketones and their cells are humming along in cleanup mode. Now, you might be wondering, what about muscle? Won't I lose muscle if I'm not eating protein? Here's the good news. Because you're keeping some calories coming in and because those calories are fat, your body doesn't panic and start breaking down muscle tissue for fuel the way it might during a prolonged water fast. You're giving it just enough to maintain while still getting the metabolic benefits of fasting. In fact, one researcher I came across mentioned doing something he called a sardine fast, where he ate about quinientas calories, a day from sardines packed in olive oil for a couple of days. Same principle, enough calories to preserve muscle, but low enough and the right kind to keep autophagy active. The point is you have flexibility here this isn't about perfection. It's about finding a sustainable way to tap into your body's natural repair systems. 
So what actually happens by the end of that one day? Let's talk about the reset. By the vent equator hour mark, your metabolism has been through a complete reprogramming. Autophagy has swept through your cells, clearing out damaged proteins, broken mitochondria, and senescent zombie cells. Your immune system has recalibrated, becoming more efficient at identifying and eliminating threats. Your insulin sensitivity has improved because your cells have had a break from constantly processing glucose. And your mitochondria, those cellular power plants, are now primed to run more efficiently on both fats and carbs. You've built what scientists call metabolic flexibility. Your body can now switch fuels smoothly without the crashes and cravings that come from being locked into burning only sugar. This metabolic flexibility is one of the most underrated aspects of aging well. When you're metabolically flexible, you have steady energy throughout the day. You don't get hangry. You can skip a meal without feeling like you're going to collapse. Your brain stays sharp because it can run on ketones when glucose isn't available. And uh, over the long term, this flexibility is one of your best defenses against insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and weight gain. You're teaching your body to be adaptable, resilient, and efficient, and you're doing it without extreme diets or punishing exercise regimens. Just olive oil, a little planning, and one day. Now, this isn't something you need to do every week, maybe once a month or whenever you feel like your system needs a tune-up after a holiday, after a stressful period, or just as a regular maintenance practice. Think of it like changing the oil in your car. You don't do it every day, but you do it regularly to keep things running smoothly. The beauty of this approach is that it's in your control. You decide when it's time for a cellular deep clean and you have the tools to make it happen without suffering. So yes, fasting works, but you don't always have to suffer through it. With the right compounds, olive oil, MCTs, and ketones, you can tap into the same longevity pathways on your own terms. You're not fighting your body. You're working with it, speaking its language through these molecular signals that tell it exactly what you want it to do. If this kind of practical science-based approach to staying young and healthy resonates with you, I'd love to have you join the community. Take a second to like this video, subscribe, and share your experience in the comments. Have you ever tried fasting with olive oil? Or would you consider it after today? Your story might inspire someone else to take the first small step toward a, a longer, stronger life.